we've had a series of Big Island of Hawaii earthquakes 3.1 and swarm shaking the Big Island. Deformation and inflation is taking place in both the uh, Kilauea volcano, this is Pu'o'o crater as we can see there, and also Mauna Loa. The 3.2 earthquake in Pahala, Hawaii. The Pahala earthquakes are usually deep. They're about 20 to 30 miles deep. And from what we see from the cross-section of the volcano, and these are, these are uh, images of uh, Kilauea, but from the cross-section we'll see the area there is uh, at that depth around the mantle plume. Now we know that from Hawaii, Vol Hawaii Volcano Observatory, Kilauea is green normal, and Mauna Loa is yellow advisory. As we know, the uh, Hawaii volcano chain is on a hot spot. There's a mantle plume there. Mauna Loa is the world's largest and one of the most active volcanoes. It's a giant shield volcano on the big island of Hawaii. It's an archetype of a basaltic shield volcano in its late mature stage of life and only about 600,000 to a million years ago uh, it was uh, star it started that's how old it is although not erupting as frequently as its younger neighbor Kilauea it's also one of the most active volcanoes in the world when it erupts its eruptions are usually huge and produce large rivers of lava that have repeatedly threatened the town of Hilo it's the biggest town on the big island Mauna Loa rises almost nine kilometers above sea level floor, and weight, the weight of this massive mountain has depressed the oceanic crust down by about eight kilometers. So the whole pile of volcanic rocks produced from Mauna Loa is probably about 17 kilometers. It's erupted both from its summit, occupied by a large caldera, and from the zones on the flanks. Almost 90% of Mauna Loa's surface is covered by lavas less than 4,000 years old, while about 50% of the surface covered by lavas no older than 1,500 years old, while about 25% is covered by lava flows younger than 750 years. So hence the emplaced after the formation of the Mokua Wewe summit caldera. Now recently, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory recorded 65 small magnitude earthquakes on the volcano summit in number of elevation flanks. And most of these earthquakes occurred at shallow depths of less than 8 kilometers or 5 miles below ground level. The largest earthquake was magnitude 3.2, and they had occurred below the volcanic uh, southwest rift zone June 2nd. Slow summit inflation continues to be detected by GPS consistent with magma supply to the volcano's shallow storage system. Gas concentrations and fumarole temperatures remain stable. Now, as far as Kilauea, Kilauea is just southeast of Mauna Loa. It's the youngest and most active Hawaiian shield volcano located on the southern part of the island of Hawaii, known as Big Island, and Hawaii is the southernmost largest of the island chain which owes its existence to the very active Hawaiian hotspot. Kilauea volcano is near constantly erupting from events either on its summit caldera or on the rift zone, and at present, Kilauea volcano is still having one of the most long-lived eruptions on the Earth, which started in 1983 on the eastern rift zone and has mainly been concentrated at the Puo vent, which is inflating. Kilauea is the youthful shield volcano sitting on the southeast flank of the massive Mauna Loa shield volcano, and it's the youngest volcano on the, on the island of Hawaii. The hotspot, not only the most active volcano of Hawaii, but at the same time, also the world's most active volcano. It's been a near constant activity since there is oral or written history, and it's having an uninterrupting eruption since uh, 1893, as we said. At present, the Puo vent on the East Rift Zone. Its eruptions are prominent in Hawaiian 
Polynesian legends, a written documentary about its activity going back to only 1820s, when it started to attract interest visitors uh, from all over the world and became one of the volcano's hotspots. It has a large summit caldera with a central crater, Pali Mau Mau, which is, according to Hawaiian legends, the home of the fire goddess Pele, until 1924 contained a lava lake, and uh, it has a lava lake now. It has um, a water lake also. Now, Kilauea has frequent summit and flank lava flows, eruptions that are occurring along two elongated rift zones, southwest and east, extending to the sea on both sides of the volcano. Now, according to the uh, indication on uh, USGS concerning Kilauea, it's considered threat potential is very high. Now, the confusing thing is that it's classified green, even though the potential is very high threat. The same thing with Mauna Loa. Now, the uh, current alerts concerning Kilauea The rates of seismicity of the month were about 25% lower. Sulfur dioxide emission rates are low at the summit and are below detected limits at Puo and the lower east rift zone. The crater lake at the bottom of Halimaumau continues to slowly expand and deepen. And as of June 3rd, the lake depth was about 118 feet. During the past month, summit tilt meter showed an increase in inflationary tilt, consistent with an increase in the rate of magma entering the volcano's shallow storage system. Also, the tilt meters recorded two deflation inflation events during the same time period, half as many as April 2020, and substantially lower than prior months. Gas measurements show continued low levels of sulfur dioxide from Halimamau, which likely means magma is not present within a few hundred meters of the surface. Some amount of sulfur dioxide is being dissolved into the summit lake and work continues to try and qualify this process. And the lake was last sampled by UAS in January, and additional samples are planned. Now let's go and take a look at the shape map of these earthquakes. Okay, here we are at USGS, and for example, we have the amount of earthquakes in this area. And this is the, as you can see, most of the activity is around here around the uh, Pahala area, which are also deeper. These are deeper than the ones in um, Kilauea and Mauna Loa, as we can see. Okay, the minus one miles is because it's higher than sea level. And uh, Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and Pahala. Pahala. Let's go to our Shake map, this is our area of our activity, as we can see. Pahala area. Pahala area right here, 3.1. And this is our, well, it's a series of quakes here. You can see they're not small. And again, they're in the area of Pahala. This was 2.9 uh, magnitude, 17 kilometers depth. And this was 32 kilometers depth. That's basically in the shank of the uh, uh, magma chamber, leading to the magma chamber. And this is the shake map. As you can see, okay, the I'm gonna, well, historic seismicity, let's put that in, okay. And this is a big island, and as you can see, even if you take out and ex extrapolate the shake intensity, of course, not only the big island, but it could be that all of Hawaii must have been shaken. So that was pretty big, even though it was 3.1. You could see that. They did feel that. They are shaking. And the Kilauea activity. And the current alerts. The current alerts. And this is what we were re reading before. And we could also go to uh, the area of Mauna Loa to see what's going there. As we said here, Kilauea is green, and this is Mauna Loa. Even though it's very high threat potential, this one is advisory color yellow. Now we saw that Kilauea was also very high, but it's uh, advisory color green. 
that to me is confusing. If anybody knows why Kilauea is not also yellow, please let us know. So this is what's happening there in Hawaii. It's very active and the whole of the area has been shaken. So all of you there, please be very careful. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.